Hi there, this is how you do a compass mock calibration on an APM board. Um, and what you need to do is, because the onboard compass is sat in the middle of the speed controllers and the motors, um, it gets magnetic interference from these when it's in flight and it confuses the onboard compass so it doesn't really know which way is north, which way is south. So things that use your compass like your circle mode, loiter, return to launch, um, your simple mode or course lock if you're a DJI fan, tends not to work very well on version 3 firmware because of the fact that it's getting interference from the motors um, and it's just it doesn't know which way it is because the magnetic field is being thrown about all over the place. So what Compass Mod does is it makes the APM board learn what magnetic interference it gets at various throttle settings or various current settings um, so that it can compensate that out and maintain a much more stable craft. Now you do need your a power module if you're going to do it by the current method, which is what I'm going to show you here. I recommend getting the power module anyway because it's really just a one-shot solution. Everything is powered from that. It's a battery monitor, you can set up a failsafe on that. Well worth the 30 odd quid it costs. Um, so what you need to do obviously is do this with the props on, because when the props are off it does draw less current. Now with the props on it can be quite dangerous to spin this up because you're going to have to throttle it up to quite a high throttle setting. It's going to want to try and lift off. So I've been contemplating best way of doing this and I'm thinking what I'm going to do and what a couple of the guys on the forums tend to agree with me is the best way of doing it is to take the props off and turn them round so they're upside down but also rotate them one position on the quad so that the props are pushing down not up so it's not going to try and take off so I'm just going to turn the props round move their position on the on the craft. As you can see what I've done is just move the props around one position. So the props are now spinning the right way, but they are forcing air upwards, so it's trying to push it down rather than actually lift it off. Now I just tighten these up again just to be sure they're held onto the hubs properly because the last thing we want is one of these things coming off at speed, as you can appreciate, that's going to be uh, quite dangerous if it does. Alright, and that's got clearance, that's cool. Right, so what we can do is, we've already got mission planner open here, that's already connected. So let's click connect on there. That's going to go through the normal connecting stages. It communicates with the APM board. Okay, right, and this is as it would be in flight, this quad. So it's got a battery on the back for the video transmitter and the LED strip I use for orientation. And everything else the receiver, the APM board, the motors, the GPS, the server for the camera mount is all powered from the main flight pack. So that's Currently disarmed, so what I'm going to do is plug in the flight pack into the power module, which is just next to the board. There we go. And I've got turn Geonic radio, um, which is currently stock except for a backlight, and it's running a LIFE battery pack on here. Um, what we need to do is we need to go into your mission panel, which is now connected to the quad via USB, which the USB lead, I've put a Velcro strap around one of the arms so that when this is throttling up it doesn't move this cable around because the last thing you want to do is the cable to hit one of the props while it's spinning because it probably shatter the prop and I don't want pieces of prop flying around my house. So we're in terminal, we click on connect APM, maybe the component is connected, so it's opened set up. We go compass mod. There we go. This records the input of the compass running the motor. The motor will spin, hold drop low, then raise it for five seconds and quickly back to low. Anytime you press any key to exit. And it's measuring compass versus current, which is quite important because obviously you can do it by throttle if you haven't got a power module, but it doesn't always get the same current draw on each throttle setting. It's quite dependent on the load on the props, the attitude of flying, things like that. So it's better to do it through current but you do need the power module to do that. So, I'm going to hold this down 
is the last thing I want to do is to try and move anywhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the throttle up. It says midway. I do it to about 50 to 75 percent for about five to ten seconds, and then throttle it back down to zero. So here it goes. Seconds at about 75%, to finish, and interference of full throttle is 131% of mag field. That's very high, so I'm going to take some steps just to remedy that, and then we'll rerun the compass mod setup.